join me today in al -Azza Monastery, a monastery built between the 13th and 14th century along the Black Sea. It's one of the most famous ones along the Black Sea and it has a rich history. It was mainly inhabited by monks in this period and we're going to go through it. You're going to really want to check this out because it's, it's a spectacle and a super unique one. Entry to this monastery museum crypt grounds is five level for an adult and three level for a child or a student. And entry is available from 9 a.m. to 4 or 5 p.m. depending on the season. There's a lot to do and a lot to see, so we're just walking around now and trying to explore it. The weather is perfect for this. It's not too hot and not too sunny, but it's still nice and bright. So the monastery is contained within a 40 meter limestone wall and it's pretty remarkable. It's spread upon two levels. The first level has the main monastic church, has monastic cells, has a farm, as well as a few places for eating and dining and cooking. The second story is a bit more sparse. It's mainly a cave with a chapel. It's quite remarkable how it withstood all this time. And we don't fully know whether more was meant to be added into the second story or not. But we do know that it was abandoned between the 15th and 16th century without any real explanation to why. It's a bit of a mystery and there is more mysteries on this place that I'll share in a few. Because of the largely weird and unknown nature of this place, it's, it's very odd, I'll put it simply. There's a lot of mysteries and legends surrounding it. Ones with gold, ones with ghosts and monastery. It's quite intriguing. It's very short though, so you don't need too much time to spend here. Maybe an hour, hour and a half, two hours max. There's a lot of nice nature reserves around the area too, so if you park, you can go and do that. As you can see behind me, there is a stage down there and there is light shows and laser shows on the monastery. Not too sure how that would look, but I predict it's pretty cool. This concludes my time in this monastery. If you're ever in Varna or Sunny Beach in the area, I highly recommend you seeing this. It's definitely worth the five levels you spend to get here. And there are so many trips here. It's very unique, very special. And although you won't spend your whole day here, if you like history at all, it's worth your time.